Okay, let's go ahead and start. Um, <clears throat> I want to start with a review of some of the material that we discussed on uh, Tuesday. And I've been teaching for a long time, and I've been looking out at students, and I saw a lot of glassy-eyed <laughs> stares coming back at me. Like, uh, what is this? What is this? All right, so I, I, I want to do it again. This. Mathematics sometimes is learned in layers. You, you put a layer on, and you come back like a coat of paint and put another layer on. All right, so what are we talking about? We're talking about a vector space where the vectors are functions. They map all integers, capital Z, to the field of complex numbers. You can add those functions together. You can subtract them. You can multiply them by a constant. There's a zero function. The zero function maps every integer to the complex number zero. So you get a vector space. That vector space is infinite dimensional. There is no finite basis for it. But we're going to be studying subspaces that are finite dimensional. And we do so within the framework of the study of linear recurrence equations. We focus first on the homogeneous case. So what does it mean to be linear? So it's the usual thing that you have in mathematics. The linear form is that you have some coefficients and I changed all my coefficients from C's to A's, by the way, because I, I felt like the notation was confusing you when we're talking about the linear combinations of basis vectors using C's and the equation itself. So when I post uh, the notes from, last, from the last lecture, you will see that the C's in the coefficients have become A's. So we're looking at a linear recurrence of this form. So there's no f squared. There's no f of one value times f of another. There are no square roots. There are no sines and cosines. It's just linear functions. And you multiply them by constants, and you add them up. Now, because it's going from fn up to fn plus d, you might as well assume that the leading coefficient, a0, is non-zero. If it's 0, it just drops out, and you fall back. In, in one term. But on the other hand, you can have zero coefficients in between. So to start with, the only assumption that you make is that the leading coefficient is not zero. All 